Okay, so in the third and final part of the pull-up progression series, we're going to look at mastering the pull-up. Now, we're not actually going to introduce any new drills, believe it or not. You take everything you've done with grip strength and assistance, and you work them so much that you become proficient at all of those things. But there comes a point with the pull-up that you just have to forget about the assistance, you have to forget about the grip, and just put yourself in the deep end. If you're constantly working on skill, those skilled things, and actually put them in workouts, you're never going to be able to you're never gonna be able to learn. You're gonna, you have to put yourself in the deep end with pull-ups. So all I'm gonna suggest is put a pull-up in your next workout. If it's a strength workout, you could simply do something like one pull-up every minute for 20 minutes. That's it. If it's a conditioning workout, maybe it's a superset, perhaps a walking lunge, and then one to five pull-ups. And you're just gonna keep doing that and keep testing the water with the pull-ups, changing those grips, um, and changing the workouts uh, so they become more proficient in the pull-up. Mastering the pull-up, just it takes, it takes time. It takes some patience, it takes some persistence. You just gotta keep going, going through it until you can do it. And then once you're able to do them, then you're gonna start doing some different pull-up varieties. So just take a look at these. Okay, so if you enjoyed that series, leave a like, make sure you subscribe, and coming up next, straight away, we're gonna be going straight into the Muscle Up series. I'm so excited to do this one, so let's get going.